What is going on guys? It is Schneidy here and today we are doing a gameplay on the brand new Diamond Vladi Divok. Now this card you get from doing all the spotlights um, for this season and I just finished them so if I sound a little tired then um, you know why I have been playing these challenges pretty much all day. So this was the card you needed to lock in. He's nothing special but... I don't know how good this Vladivok will be, I just wanted to do a gameplay on him, but turning over the card, he's got a 96 offense, 91 defense, he's got, uh, he's 7 foot 1, 243 pounds, um, from Serbia, cool, 79 driving lamp, which is okay for a center, 89 post fade, 92 post look, 92 post moves, good post center, um, draw foul, 88, 94, Close shot, 92 mid-range, 81, 382 free throw, 90 standing, 75 driving, no ball handling. The defense is good, good block, good interior. The perimeter, he's a center, he doesn't need it. 95 offensive and defensive, and the speed is bad. 66 speed, 59 speed ball, 65 acceleration, 61 lateral, and the mental game's good. Um, he's got nine Hall of Fame badges, pick and popper, post spin technician, drop step for flash passer, dimer on a big, which is nice, back down punisher, needle thrower, pass fake maestro, and pump fake maestro. Um, also gold catch and shoot, gold corner specialist, gold rim protector, gold rebound chaser, uh, hot zone hunter, brick wall, deep hooks. So, um, I just, can he get range? I don't know if he can. He can get range. Um, so... If we, I mean, if we go into the auction house, like, Hakeem Olajuwon, I don't see how different, like, how Vladi Divac's better, because, I mean, he's definitely a better shooter, Hakeem's better in the post, um, Hakeem doesn't have as good as a ball handle, but Hakeem's got better block, perimeter, and interior, he's so much faster, and then, like, um, David Robinson... Um, uh, David Robinson's, they're the same height, um, Vladi Divox, eight more pounds, um, they're pretty, I mean, Vladi's a better shooter, um, better ball handle, I mean, it's really just the speed, um, I mean, for a free card, I don't think Vladi Divox will be that bad, he's just, if he were just a little faster, it'd be nice, but, um, that's it. We're gonna try him out and see how he does. So, as you can see, these AI and Richard Jefferson are the last, they're two of the last three cards we need. I don't know what this mystery player will be, but we'll see. Hopefully, we get these two tomorrow on Christmas Day. So, for triple threat, um, we're gonna, of course, use um, Vladi Divok. I do like this Drew Holiday, um, although this um, D'Angelo Russell is very nice, and I did yesterday find a steal on the auction house. 17,000 MT, Allen Houston with Hall of Fame clamps. There's also one with Hall of Fame range. He already had gold range, so I thought maybe the Hoff clamps one would be better, and he is on my main squad, and I just... I never used him when he came out, like the first day 2K came out, but he is a beast. So, we're actually going to use Allen Houston, and then for our point guard, we are going to use the new D'Angelo Russell, because he is a beast of a card. So, let's get on to the game. Alright, so we have matched up against PD Larry Nance, Ruby Bulbul, and 86 overall, new Pantheon Jordan Clarkson. I have not played an online game since yesterday, but I've been playing a lot of CPU, so I'm probably going to be rusty. I have been playing no meter recently, but I will play meter on this game. Um, we cannot paint it. It is Bulbul. So, D'Lo does not have clamps, but he can get it. So, uh, but Alan Houston Hoff clamps, so hopefully we can stop Larry Nance. Um... Uh, no way. That's not going in. Get the rebound. Thank you. Alright, let's get a pick and fade going with Vladi Divok. Well, that's not a fade, but he still hits the moving mid-range shot. Good shot. 
Um, oh, he got me. Um, the thing about Vlad is that he's extremely slow. If he had even, like, a little bit of speed, he would be nice, but he just is so freaking slow. So, let's see if I can get Bulbul Bul coming in. Let's see if we can post up Bulbul. Bulbul Bul has no strength. Oh, he's, I don't know what that was there, but good animation. Um, he does have Hoff back down Punisher and Hoff drop stepper, so he is going to be amazing in the post. Hoff clamps there. Um, and that's a bad shot, but it goes in. Tied at four here. Um, let's get a pick and fade. Or roll. Or, nope, there he is. Hit that shot, maybe? Vladi? No. I did not go into freestyle, but... As you saw, his jumper is definitely not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. Um, yeah, so let's get a pick and fade again. Um, he's money from mid-range. He's got like a 91 mid-range or something like that. So, or 97 or 95, I don't know. But he is hitting the shot there. Um, block him or not. See, so the thing about D'Lo is that next gen, when I get it next week, he's going to be so good. But since it is still current gen, he can't play an inch of defense. Let's, let's hit a shot there. Or not. Okay, then. And then, that should have been a block. We are down by four. Um, let's see. Come on. Can you fade? Thank you. And that's not going in. Uh, you can already tell it's not going in when the bar gets small. That's good defense there, but can't get the rebound. Um, come on, half clamps. This is atrocious. We can honestly paint it. It's Larry Nance. He can't shoot. Why'd I jump? That's my fault if he makes that. Luckily, we get a good contest. Pass fake. Green that. Ooh, that's a straight arm. Wow, I can't time anything. Good D. Oh, we can't get a rebound. Um, blow by. And that's a decent contest. Luckily, he is using stick. And then up fake. And then I want to see if I can. We'll get D-Lo open. Green. Good shot, D-Lo. Down by one here. Vlad has six and two right now. So that's not, that's not the worst. Uh, I don't know why he's shooting stick. He would be better off. <clears throat> using meter, uh, not, sorry, you know what I mean, uh, button, sorry, as Vladi Divac hits the mid-range, um, nothing spectacular out of, out of him so far, um, that's key's corner smash, he's gonna hit that all day, I don't know why I'm leaving him open from the corner, um, okay, that was bad by me, um, let's get him cutting, no, not, why would he cut? Like, that just, just pisses me off. Um, down by four here. Uh, let's get Vladi open. Come on, Vladi. And he, he is missing. Okay. He does only have an 81 mid range and no hot zone, so I don't expect him to make that consistently. But if I could just hit one three with him, that would be nice. Um,. Pass, fake, shoot that, and we're missing. Luckily, you get the rebound. Um, get it to Vladi. Get in the post. <clears throat> post fade. Or cook, kind of-ish. Still hits it, though. He's going to be a beast in the post. Uh, so, you're not, you're not going to be missing with him in the post. So, we are down by six here. And, um... Let's see if we can hit a game winner. And why would I say? I actually have no idea what I'm saying. I am losing. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's what happens when you play a CPU all day. Let him shoot it. That's not as, really. He's greening from his on hot zone. We do lose this game 16 to 22. Let's get back to the menu and talk about him. All right. So as you saw from that one game, I mean, he doesn't do much outside of being a beast in the post and a good mid-range score. Like, he was playing a little bit of defense, but it's just his speed with ball and speed and acceleration is awful. He he can't do much because he's so slow. I mean, 
Now, you do need him for Galaxy Opal Baron Davis. Um, I mean, for a free card, he's fine. Um, Maurice Spates in the spotlights are, is so much better. Like, I'm taking this card so... Um, I'm taking this card over Vladi Divac any day of the week. Better release, m much faster, better def better block and interior defense. Like, the speed of ball, like, it doesn't, it's not as bad. I mean, he feels faster than he actually is, I should say. But I'm taking most beats any day of the week over him. I just like his release more, and um, I kind of like his badges more. So, I'm, yeah, I'm taking most beats over him. Charles Oakley over him? Probably not, even though Oakley's a much better defender. Um, he can't shoot as well. I mean, he is... I mean, I'm, I honestly might take Oakley over him just because he's a much better defender, but... He's a fine card. Like, there's... He's... He's not bad. He's definitely not bad. He's just not great. Like, I'm not using him on my team. He's just not good. Um, but... He does fit some people's play styles if you do play, uh, if you're like an interior, um, if you like your centers, if you like non-stretch bigs, um, Vladi Divac actually is a stretch big, he's just not the greatest shooter, but hope maybe next gen is a better release, I don't know, but for now, that is going to be the video, please subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends about it, I'll see you guys next time, peace.